Hey, thanks for coming and checking out the video. We went out to Bodega Bay in California to do a little flying around. The fog was down low, about 250 feet above sea level, so we just thought we'd uh, just get some miles in and see how it turned out. Uh, so this is a little collage of uh, my flight. This flight was flown with my Dragon Link hooked into my Futaba 10C radio. I have two 1.3 gigahertz receivers that are both connected to the 1258 channel. It's a really sweet little golf course they've got out at Bodega Harbor. So if you ever want to check out some golf, this is a nice place to go. Hard course though. Trying to get used to my pan and tilt on my uh, Futaba 10C. I've got it controlled by the knobs, two knobs on my controller. So I've been uh, trying to get used to reaching for the right one at the right time. So you see it'll jump it around a little bit. That's me just trying to get used to it. When I first fl started flying, I had the uh, FY31 in the uh, Hornet OSD, and I got to tell you, the uh, Cyclops Storm, hands down, works so much easier. Opens up more channels on my radio, and it just seems to work flawlessly. I highly recommend it.
here I'm uh, reaching for the uh, tilt, trying to see how it feels and uh, do a little dialing in. Figured I'd fly over the ocean and, and uh, check it out, see how the thing worked. It's a really calm day on the beach and on the ocean, so I just thought I'd get a little bit of footage of the ocean. The area that we were staying this is called Bodega Harbor, and uh, as you can see, that's just below me right now. Right now, uh, that's us standing on the side of the road, and no cars. And then the house that we're staying is uh, off to the right. Here I'm flying out towards the Bodega Harbor. I just wanted to see, get a little bit of distance. I was flying around the same house area because uh, the girls were all watching us fly, so we figured we'd try to stick kind of close. But I thought I'd just go for a little flight. As you can see, my video's uh, display was, was working well. I had no problems, no uh, static at all. And here's the same section with the uh, display FPV camera that I use just for uh, comparison. That's us standing in the road. I was coming down for a, for a uh, landing, but I figured I'd go around one more time and buzz the house that we were staying in. And then uh, I came back for my landing. Let's see if I'm going to this here. So right at the end of the flight, I went for a little buzzing of the house, and uh, just before I landed, I thought I'd buzz them. The, the girls were all standing outside, and I gave them a little bit of a fright. It was a good, uh, nice little close call.
So this is the end of my flight. I'm coming down for a landing. The wind stopped so I had nothing to float down on. I'm heading downhill on this road. And I'm coming up to our, our station where we were standing. And all of us realized, you know, uh, even gliding, it was going <laughs> way too fast. So you can see us scatter and my one buddy who's standing there with the sweatshirt on just launched straight up in the air right over the plane. The plane ended up bumping the curb and knocked the, uh, the camera off, the HD camera. And uh, no other damage, it was just a little bump. But uh, what a great flight, had a lot of fun. Thanks for checking out my video.